Hi, I'm Kate Ferdoni. And I'm Michael Gadlin. Welcome to Arts District from Rocky Mountain PBS. One thing that is instrumental to our operations here at Rocky Mountain PBS, and especially in Arts District, is our work with student interns and producers. We've connected with an incredible pool of talent from colleges and universities around the state. We offer highly competitive and actually somewhat rare opportunities for students to gain broadcast and production skills. Students with Arts District conduct interviews, film stories, and they also work on set with us. That's right, they run the teleprompter. Hi, Sarah. They floor direct. Hi, Polina. And actually, some of our staff are even former interns themselves. Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> and today, we're going to feature some of the segments that interns have created during their time with us. We'll start at the Denver Art Museum, where Polina Serrano, who you just met, explored the multimedia light show. is one of two exhibitions that the Denver Art Museum has organized from its permanent collection. We decided to do this because the North Building, the Geo Ponte Building, is being completely renovated, so it's been emptied of all art, and we wanted to represent all nine curatorial departments in an exhibition. The first exhibition was Stampede, about animals and art, and this exhibition is The Light Show, which encompasses both the spiritual and the physical aspects of light. So throughout the exhibition, we've been trying to juxtapose unusual contrasts between artworks. We try to represent uh, every section of the museum, uh, including photography and different media, works on paper, sculpture, decorative objects, uh, like really to create a, a full landscape of the collection of the Denver Museum. The first piece that you will see is a Mexican altar from the early 1700s. It has been in storage for many years, since the 1990s, and we did a, a, a very important conservation campaign to bring it out for this exhibition. We are very lucky to have that. Yoko Ono donated Keith Herring's altarpiece. It is a, an addition to work. There are nine in the world. They're bronze that are uh, covered with gold leaf. He designed it in 1990. Our particular version was cast in 1996. It's about Christ's love for the people who had contracted AIDS. This is a great moment to take out the masterpieces of the museum. Art that has been in storage for one reason or other for several decades. It's this wow moment when you go and see the Lucas Samaras, when you see the Mexican altar in front of the Keith Haring altar, when you see this beautiful Fred Wilson lamp. A very large chandelier that's in the center of the prow is by Fred Wilson, a contemporary artist, um, and it's called The Way the, Lo the Moon's in Love with the Dark which is a phrase from a Pushkin uh, incomplete novel or uh, poem, we're not quite sure. And he made this for the Istanbul Biennial and at a time that he felt it was really important that we talked about how the East and the West communicated with each other. Jim Campbell's uh, sound installation, I've never read the Bible, and in it, or during it, the artist is reading the Bible letter by letter. It takes eight days to complete the reading. And we have a very good selection of pieces from uh, this area, from New Mexico and Southern Colorado. And the death card uh, by Jose Inez Herrera uh, was probably made between 1890 uh, or 1910, around that time, in uh, El Rito in, in New Mexico. It's a reminder of our mortality and our time on Earth. The Lucas Samaras Tunnel, uh, Untitled Tunnel, was given to the Denver Art Museum in honor of a former curator, Diane Vanderlip, at the time that we did a major show with Lucas Samaras. Quite interestingly, it's not electrified. It is all mirror, and we shoot beams of light into the two doorways, and they bounce back and forth to make that infinity effect within the tunnel. 
It's a piece that hadn't been out since 2002. We knew it was a great crowd pleaser. And the show has offered us opportunities to uh, conserve and to review artworks, some of which have not been on view for a very long time. So cool. The producer of that segment, Polina, came to us as an intern from Metro State University, where she recently graduated.